Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today we're going to do one of the cast members of Duck Dynasty. I figure I can do one and you guys can probably do the rest. Anyway, we're going to start with a single loom in the offset configuration. Columns 1 and 3 are going to be slightly lower than column 2. We're going to have the open part of the peg facing towards us or the arrow facing towards us. Um, we're going to be double banding, which means you take two bands and you place them on the pegs together as if they were one. The colours that you're going to need, skin tone, brown, black, khaki, and uh, and we're going to need some 7mm by 4mm mini pony beads. And we're going to use those for eyes. Um, I think I said... I don't think we need tan. We might need a couple of silver bands as well. So there's our beads for our eyes. Let's get started. This is going to be the character, and I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know their names, that has the black little hat uh, on him. So we're going to start with black up the top here. I think I only know the uh, Phil Robertson guy, the, uh, the dad, isn't it? But... Uh, I'm not sure of all the others. It's not a show I've actually watched. So there we go, there's the hat part. Now we're going to do the, the hair, the back of the hair. Now on these side bits we're going to put little strands and I've made five and I'll show you how to make the sixth little chains little strands of hair because he's got quite long hair so take a single brown band wrap it once and twice and you're going to slide onto a single band and reclaim and another single band and reclaim so you have these one two and then one more three little loops on the end of an end cap here. And what we're going to do is slide three onto a pair. So I've got one there, my others are all over here. You might need to pause the video to make a couple more. But when you have done that, come back and we will slide three of these little chains onto a pair of bands like that. And then you'll attach one side here and the other side here. Make sure that you can push the hair down the back there behind your loom to get it out the way. We're going to put our other three on another pair of bands and do the same thing for the other side. So one, two and three and they go this side and this side and again push them down take a single brown band and loop across and a single black band and loop across we're going to put two brown bands if I can get them untangled there we go here for the neck and a single brown band on the end here as our end cap one and two and pop that here now we're going to go under that end cap and grab those two brown bands and loop up. Then we're going for the two top brown bands and you just want the top two. And they go to the corresponding side that they belong to, as do the next top two. And the last top two would go up. We'll loop up to the black bands, okay, which is one on either side and two in the middle like that push down everything needs to be pushed down now we're going to place the bands for the face a little bit different here because he's got a face full of fur he's got a beard so we'll start with two flesh tone bands and you skip this first peg area here and move down to the center we'll put two this side on the right and two on the left but now we're going to move to brown because of his beard and his moustache. So two here, two from the centre to the right, and two from the centre to the left. 
Now we're going to actually have to put a beard on here, but let's put two bands firstly here for our neck, okay? We're going to stretch a white band, a, a skin tone band. We're going to twist it once, twice, and three times and stretch it across. Now I use a hook to place my eyes. That These are the four millimeter by seven millimeter beads. You don't have to use beads, you can use bands. You can take a band and wrap it once, twice, three times, and four times. That equates to one bead, okay? So if you don't have beads, you can use bands. I'm using beads. Um, you're going to thread these onto a single skin tone. Now you can use floss, you can use a metal threader. I have a tutorial on how to make a metal threader with a twisty tie on my tips and tricks playlist. Slide these on and you will stretch that across from one side to the other and then pop this little band up over the top of this part here like that. All right, for his beard, we're going to move to the bottom of our loom and we are going to place a pair and another pair and another pair. One more pair in the center. We're going to just stretch from the center bottom up and stretch from the center bottom up. We're going to put a crossover band upside down, so we're going to put it this way. So instead of going over these three, we're going over these three, and we're going to put an end cap on the bottom here. Single band, wrap once and twice, and place on like that. Dig down past that end cap and grab the two top bands. Hold that end cap in place with your thumbnail and loop those up. Do the same on the other side. Now, when we do this, each of these is going to go on here. So these two will go here. These two will go in the center. These two will go here. We're gonna take them off using our hook make sure that they're not um, crisscrossed over or anything like that so this is going to be our beard which will get placed here what we're going to do is put these first four loops okay on there but we're not going to do it straight away we're going to just leave it on this hook as a holding hook um, now, if you need to transfer that onto a toothpick, um, a chopstick, a, the prong of a fork, whatever, um, that's fine. But we're not going to loop this up just this second. All right, um, I'm going to grab another hook. Let's continue with what we're doing here. He wears a black shirt. So we're going to move from his shoulders and we're going to come down with black. Oh. Before we do that, I always forget this, you need to take these bottom brown bands that were the end cap and lift over to make sure that the back of his hair is attached to his face. That's always my stumbling block. <laughs> now we can do our black bands. And again, we're double banding still. down three so for arms I'm going to take a single band for skin tone Wrap it once and twice and slide onto a pair of skin tone and another pair of skin tone. 
Now we want to have five pair in total for the arm. I'm doing one more pair, so that's three, and then I'm going to do black for his shirt. So one, and two. All right, and we'll pop that on his shoulder here, and we'll do the same for the other side. One, wrap it once and twice, slide onto a pair of skin tone, and now you'll need two more pair of skin tone. One, two, and now two pair of black. Here's our first pair, and here is our second pair. And pop that on here. We're going to use khaki or camouflage for his trousers. Double banding still. He's wearing boots, so we've, got, we've come down four. We're going to do black boots. Take two black bands, wrap once and twice, slide onto two black bands. Do not reclaim just yet, take another two black bands and wrap once and twice and now we reclaim and we'll slide on to two black bands. I like to slide the first two bands over first then the wrapped band and then the last two. Reclaim. Now if you had wanted you could make his shirt longer come down to four and then the boots would be added um, separately but I'm just doing the three up here so we'll add that to here let's do the other side two slide onto two, oh don't reclaim, slide onto two, don't reclaim Twist again, one, two. Now we reclaim and we slide on to two. Here's our first two. Here's our wrapped band. Our other two. Reclaim and that can go here on this leg. Like so. So now we need some crossover bands. Let's do um, firstly our groin area of the trousers. So we do from two to here and two to here. We're going to put that band looks a bit odd. There we go. An end cap here. Wrap a single once and twice and pop there. We're going to use a camouflage band across here. And then we're moving to black bands. So I'm going to move these camouflage bands back out of the way. And we're going to use camouflage bands. I'm just going to stretch them. A single band stretched over these three areas here in the shape of a triangle. So one, two, three. They're just all black bands. Let's tidy up our bands. <laughs> All right, let's dig down. We're going to find those two bottom black bands for his boots. And we loop up. Now we stop at this point on each side. So one and two, and then we stop and we're going to dig down here and find the bands that correspond to the side. And the same on this side. 
and loop up and now we can continue looping up it's a bit tight and squeezy on that band so push it down finding the two bottom bands and loop up all the way to the shoulders now at the center and now we have the fun and game of adding beards <laughs> all right so what we're going to do we're going to dig down first and find these two brown bands and loop them up okay we want those to be looped up now we're going to go and find these top two bands and loop to the side and the next top two bands and they loop to their side if I can find them there we go now this is the point that we add our beard okay because these two bands will lock the beard in and then these two bands will lock the beard in so push everything down so you've got room your first four loops are going to go on the left side okay like so if you want loop it up now just those two skin tone bands and you have secured that in place you don't have to worry anymore about those going walk about the next four go in the center and I'm trying to make sure I get all four there we go and then these last four go here I'm going to lock these side ones into place and then I can fiddle faff around with the center the center ones you want these two bands here so we're finding those but remember you have that end cap in there as well which is why it's difficult to find. So just going for the top two and it might be one at a time. Try not to get the end cap. There we go, I've got it, fabulous. Now we can do this middle one up. We have the black band and you're going for the two bottom so careful that you don't get the crossover band in that as well just the two bottom ones loop up the top middle one here and then the sides so the fiddliest part is attaching this center part of the beard because the end cap is brown as well so it makes it a little tricky to find you're going to take two black bands place down here and we'll drag them back through reclaim one over the other and pull tight and we're ready to take this off the loom make sure you get all of the bands because you've got all of that hair at the back as well shape so here's all his hair at the back here this is that little black bandana that he wears so let's fix this up it's not really a, I don't know it's not a hat but it, it is a hat and it's not really a bandana it's sort of a I don't really know what it's called I'm sure one of you do you can educate me. So tuck that behind so that it's hidden. Now with this beard we need to pull it down
and if you feel that it's too uh, too thick you can do it with single bands as well uh, single bands would make it less thick and less um, less solid I guess um, if you feel that that would look better that's completely up to you um, I can show you what it, this is um, how I would do it anyway um, so this is this is my end result of my little duck dynasty guy if you decide that you're only wanting to use single bands in his beard what you would do is when you loom it just use single but you can also do it after the fact you just chop one band and this will at least show you if you decide to do the rest of the gang what it would look like as a single banded beard and yes it hurts when these flip back at you so if you're doing it as a single band there you have it and I, it looks quite good single banded as well I don't know if you can see let me move that closer so there he is with his single banded beard we're going to do one more little tweak to this figure take a single skin tone band wrap it once twice and three times and I try and lift it over and on pinch and drag back. Now what we're going to do between his hair and his face you have a gap you're going to push your hook through and come out the center of his face here. You don't need to do this this is just an added thing. Grab the tie off band of the nose and pull it back through like that. I think it gives him a slightly nicer look to him this tie off band all you're going to do lift his hair up a little bit you can drag it back up through his hair and just because his hair is hidden loop it like this one over the other and make a slip knot and then hide the tie off bit at the back here between his hair and his skin like that see his hair hides that but you do have his little nose at the front and you can just put your hook in and twirl it around a few times and that can sometimes give it a better shape but I think that looks a little nicer for our Duck Dynasty chap. Enjoy making. Take care.